morning, this afternoon, I told the story about going to the hospital last night and visiting the victims with the chief. And I'm not going to call his name, but there's a 10-year-old little boy that's laying in that bed. And his grandmother was in the room with us, and he was, he was a very courageous young man. He had beauty and he had hope in his eyes. He didn't have fear. And when we asked him what he wanted to be, while he was lying there in bed with a bullet hole in his body, he said, I want to be in the Army. I want to be in the Army. And at that moment, it struck me that here's this young man that had the presence of mind to not have hate in his heart, to not have destruction in his heart, to not have selfishness in his heart, but to actually say in a very poignant, simple way that only a 10 year can, I want to grow up to serve my country. And how different it was for the young men that were in this park last night, taking away everybody's freedom, who basically sent a message that they want to destroy it because they have no hope and respect for their future or anybody else. And we're here as leaders of this community to be really clear and unequivocal that that is morally wrong, it's socially wrong, it's civilly wrong, it's not who we are as a people, and we are going to lead this city back to peace through love.